I am coming to you from Limassol, Cyprus. Which is probably the most popular city in Cyprus. It's on the beach, but it's a pretty big city for Cyprus standards. We're talking around maybe 150,000 people. <laughs> but it's a major city. Here's where all the, uh, most of the people come to work. Most of the companies are located here. We have a good bit of tourism and there's a lot of construction, guys. A lot of Russians, a lot of Chinese are buying up everything. I mean everything. So um, if you come to Cyprus, you will most likely, if you ever move to Cyprus, let's say, you'll most likely live in uh, Limassol. And you can see they're just building stuff all over. No real type of architecture. It's more like uh, a Dubai type of feel. Maybe that's what they're going for, but it's not quite as nice as Dubai. But uh, that's the kind of vibe that they're, that they're going for as they're building these these high rises everywhere but anyway guys we're gonna do a quick video on uh, Raytheon woke Raytheon yep so the weapons manufacturer the weapons manufacturer guys that just secured a two billion and I'm reading it from my mobile here a two billion nuclear cruise missile deal also operates a diversity campaign that segregates employees by race rejects equality and even advocates for white spaces. And this was all done by a researcher and journalist named Christopher Rufo who exposed all of this. He has the documents exposing Raytheon's, uh, I guess you could call it like their, their CRT training. They actually call it um, Stronger Together Training. Stronger Together Training is what they call it and that's how they segregate and separate employees by race, by, by gender, by orientation, all of that stuff. And of course, it falls along the lines of Orange Man bad. And of course, the people that like Orange Man, well, they're doubly bad. And uh, I imagine that Christianity is bad and all these other, other things that we know about from CRT. But the reason I want to make this quick video, guys, is I find this really interesting that Raytheon, weapons manufacturer, that has created the weapons that have murdered probably millions upon millions of people worldwide. I would say with a concentration of people in the Middle East, say the last 20 years, a concentration of people in the Middle East, Iraq, Syria, Libya, we could probably also take a look at Yugoslavia. I'm sure their weapons played a major role there as well. But here is Raytheon preaching, preaching about equality, not even equality, equity, diversity, anti-white racism, bigotry. Raytheon is preaching this. I find this unbelievable, guys. A woke weapons manufacturer. Think about that for a second, a woke weapons manufacturer. That's how you know that being woke, virtue signaling, and um, CRT is pure evil. When you have a weapons manufacturer actually promoting this stuff, buying into it, and implementing it to its workforce, when you have a weapons manufacturer that has killed so many people in the Middle East implementing this in their workforce, you know that CRT and wokeness and virtue signaling is pure evil. But of course, it's globalist as well. It's all part of the globalist agenda, guys. And that is why you have the Nikes and the Coca-Colas and the big techs and, of course, the Raytheons implementing this because it fits into the globalist agenda. Anyway, guys, I wanted to do a really quick video about that. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think about woke Raytheon and the fact that they're implementing CRT in their company. Um, man, the hypocrisy is incredible. Anyway, guys, that's it for me right now. I'll drop some more videos later from Limassol. Go to Durant Shop, 10% off, guys, when you use the code Real News. And of course, look for my, my channel, Alexander's channel, and the Duran on Locals, Super U, Bitch Shoot, Rumble, and Odyssey. We are on all those platforms. Hit that like on the way out. Out, guys. Take care.